Hey guys, we are here with the mastermind, the director herself, Trevi Perche. How are you? Oh man, I am amazing. I'm amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, so it's a pleasure to be here with you today. So we are here for this play. Tell us, tell the viewers about it. Okay. Um, the play is called The Foul Bed to the Awakening. Yes. And um, we're actually going to be in Atlanta um, on December 7th. So we're really excited about that. We want to bring, bring like a message laughter tears like bring your tissues because you will be jerk you know it's a tear jerker yeah, but yeah. it's an amazing play and I'm so glad I got an amazing yeah, cast too, oh yeah. my god yeah okay and before we even dive into the specifics of this play mm -hmm. when did you begin directing Oh man, I think I started it uh, maybe like 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, so I had people doing it for me and then I was like, okay, but this is my vision. So yeah. I kind of know what I want. I know what the audience, you know, what, they, what they're gonna you know, respond to. Mm -hmm. And then it just, uh, it's like second nature. It's yeah. just like flowed. <laughs> I was in there changing it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where did you find the inspiration for this storyline? Um, well, this is a part two of the original one that we've done. And so when I did this one, I mean, I killed a, we kind of killed the character off. Yeah. But it was such a demand that people wanted to see it again. I'm like, mm, I don't like to do every, you know, things twice. So I said, okay, I'm going to bring him back to life. Yeah. And then I'm just going to switch it up a bit. Yeah. So it's, it's just been fun doing that. And it's, and it's also just to inspire people. I yeah. write inspiration to make you know, people think about some things. Yeah. Well, that leads me to my next question. What is the ultimate message that you want viewers to take away from this film? Um, it's about forgiveness. Yeah. It's about love. It's about black families. Um, yeah, and it's about healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I know the majority of your work, um, you definitely display your, your faith in God. It's yes. Faith -based work how important is it to bring that element of that message you know when as form? you know as people go through a lot they kind of forget that God is in the midst mm -hmm. and sometimes they faith take them away or death will take them away or anger will position them to not want to talk to God no more yeah. so I come in saying he still hears you yeah he still cares about you he didn't you walked away from him yeah. he really didn't walk away from you Absolutely. and so it's kind of restoring that faith and that belief again yeah. and and when people Go, oh, I forgot about God. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna help you remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like that, like so that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, you about that, exactly. so isn't important. that wonderful? Yeah. yeah, I think through our trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. sometimes. We're so focused on, you know, what we're going through yes. and not what we can get through. Come on, dude, come so, on, yeah. come on now. Come on Let's now, see. yes, girl. <laughs> Don't get me excited. I'm trying to keep this mic on me now. <laughs> come on, I'm about to catch the feeling in here. Listen, I had a uh, welcome interview where I was talking to the host and uh, we were really praising it. So <laughs> Guy, yes, because <laughs> so it gets you so excited yeah. when you think about, I mean, you go through your trials and tribulations, but they're not to kill you, they're to make you. Yeah. And a lot of people feel that they drown in it, but God said, no, I'm bringing you through it because I'm going to bring you out of it and you're not going to be the same. Absolutely, yeah. So that yeah. basically, so what we do, we just restore in faith. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. thank you. And, you know, speaking of restoring faith, uh, speaking on your cast members, mm -hmm. we just interviewed Bianca Bonnie and yes. she told us about how she grew up not being in the church. She didn't really necessarily have that relationship with God, mm -hmm. right? And it's so funny how his timing. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. His, his timing, timing. He speaks one word now. So, See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we stop. <laughs> but she said that she moved to Miami and she, on her own, um, was seeking him. Yes. And she just, um, I don't know if she told you, but she just started really going to church. Mm -hmm. She said that. It's so funny because now when this got presented to her, the timing was so crazy. Oh wow! This was her time period in life where she's been seeking God. Yeah. So to do this through, you know, and she's been doing, you know, music and so many different mm -hmm. art forms. Right? Mm -hmm. But to do this particular play, I thought that was just. I th so crazy. let me tell you when we when we wrote when I wrote the character, we were pitching it to three other people, and she was the first one to say yes. Wow. And so I'm saying whoever says yes, that's their assignment. Yep. And her character is one that finds her faith. Wow. She lost her faith because of her trials and tribulations. Yeah. And now she's finding her faith again. Wow. So how ironic is that, right? Yeah. That's wow. Yeah. yeah. I, so I just gave me chills. So <laughs> often you think about what um, 
what uh, similarities do you have with the character? Mm -hmm. And as she was sitting here telling me, oh, my character is in jail and everything. And it's so funny because we were sitting here and she's speaking about how this is one of her first interviews not having makeup on. Mm -hmm. And she said, actually in the play, I don't have makeup she on. She won't have any makeup that, on. You know, it, it shows how vulnerable that you literally have to be. And that's what I want her to yeah. be. I want to peel layers. Yeah. And I think that this is going to be the start for her to yeah. be an amazing, she's an amazing actress, yeah. but when she hit that stage, she going to show them yeah. that this gift mm -hmm. is from God. Yeah. And they can't shut it down. Yeah. So let me stop. I'm about to have church. Listen, <laughs> I'm about to have yeah. church. Talk about it. Talk Come about on. It. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, now, speaking of you know service, um, you have donated so many tickets to to women in shelters. Mm -hmm. and how important is just giving back? through this art form for you. I grew up in, with women who were humanitarians yeah. and I've been trained from the missionaries to the ushers yeah. how to serve the community and those that are less fortunate. Mm -hmm. So every city I go to, I try to bless someone to see something that can inspire them, empower them, uplift them yeah. and motivate them to say, this may be my current situation, yeah. but this ain't the end. Yeah. You know, so yeah. So we donated in Brooklyn and then we did it again. We did it, well, we in Manhattan, then we did it in Brooklyn. Now we're gonna be doing it in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so, so yeah, I'm really that's close to my heart. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, so I was chatting with some of your cast members. I want to speak about some of the other ones in there. You have yeah. Stephanie, some great women. Yes. I heard you found one singing on the the subway, I believe. Tell me about that casting part of this. Oh man, it's like I heard I heard her singing, and I kept saying, "What is that sound?" Like, what, what is what what is that sound? And I was like, uh, I'm gonna cast her in my play, and I was kind of nervous. But when God give you that authority yeah. to say, it's her, and I went, and it just worked out. Wow. So, and then a lot of the cast members, you know, I found them in different places and yeah. different states in their life. And but one of the things we do, we pray together. Yeah. I go in, I fight for them in the spirit, and even when they going through, I counsel because I'm a pastor as yeah. well. So I counsel, I encourage, and I minister to them. And look at them. We're such a family that yeah. it blows my mind sometimes. I'm like, God, oh, you gave me some wonderful people i'm yeah. so blessed that that's amazing because you need that to create yes. that, that authentic mm -hmm. atmosphere especially mm -hmm. with a play mm. it's much different mm -hmm. than obviously doing a, a film where you can stop and right. replay and right. et cetera. but to have a live audience that yes. you can captivate yes. you need that genuine relationship mm -hmm. on the stage mm -hmm. with the cast members so i commend you I'm, I'm <laughs> thank you so thank excited. you Oh my God! I was watching just previous work of yours and just watching um, you speaking on camera, and I was like, I can't wait to talk. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh my God, I am so, I'm so excited. I'm glad for this interview, and I'm really happy to have Bianca, and she's just really owning it. She's yeah. like. I want this yeah. and, and you get excited to see that people enjoy and she's talking about it and, and I can hear her rehearsing and she's like I'm gonna body this yeah. day and she is the world better watch out for her because God ain't finished with her yet because yeah. I'm gonna prophesy over that okay. oh okay let me calm down <laughs> real quick last, last question or just what is um, a piece of advice I want you to look into the camera, any young director or any creative, um, especially that is just dealing with the relationship with God, dealing with this world, what is mm -hmm. the piece of advice that you want to give? What I want to say to you is be okay with not fitting in. Because God didn't call you to fit in, he called you to stand out. And standing out is a lonely walk, but it is a way to get closer to God because what's inside you has to come out of you. You are pregnant with purpose and promise. Birth it, baby, birth it. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, was that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I just want to shout out any social media you have and just information um, yes. as to where to buy the tickets and the time of day. So it's December 7th. We're going to be at the Center Stage Theater. Get your tickets there. You can go on Ticketmaster and then you can buy your tickets there. You can get me on um, Trevi Perche Productions on IG and then Trevi Booker Perche on um, Facebook. And also the Defile Bed is also on Facebook. So hit me up. Ask me questions. We're doing a casting call for Grown Woman Chronicles. It's coming. That's my web series is coming. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you all. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna get a prayer. Hey, yes. Hey, it's your girl Bianca Bonnie from Love and Hip Hop New York. You already know I'm rocking with real fans, real talk. Real talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.